go. Hi there and welcome. This is Tracy at StampinWithTracy.com and today we're going to make a very quick and easy project using our craft pillow boxes. When you open it up inside, there's a lot of Dove chocolates. And what we're going to do, because these are rounded, obviously, we're going to put all of our paper on um, while it's flat. Now you can buy these, there's 10 in a package. And a little trick is you want to make sure that when you're, when you're going to put your things on the top, that these notches are showing. Now I made that mistake with this. It looks a lot better when you can't see. Well, when the closure goes that way, and I didn't notice that when I was doing it, so you can see it looks a lot better if it's um, going towards the back. So just make sure that the notches are on the front there. We're going to use some um, All My Love Designer Series paper. This measures two by three and three fourths inches. And then we're also going to use a foil sheet. This is a celebration item. It's called Grapefruit Grove and Lovely, Lis Lovely Lipstick Foil Sheets. And you get both colors. I don't know how this is gonna be on camera, but you get eight sheets in a package and it's free with a $50 order before tax and shipping. Now Stampin' Up! just announced yesterday that this is not going to be available until the end of celebration because everyone's loving it. So if you would like this foil paper, I would grab it as soon as you can. All right, now because it, this is rounded, I want to be sure that the foil is going to stay, obviously, on, on the um, craft sheet. So I'm going to use, it's not a craft sheet, it's a craft pillow box. So I'm going to use our multi-purpose glue and go ahead oops, and get this, get this on so it can sit and dry before we put our candy in. I don't use the glue a lot. It's really sticky, but it's great. It's really strong and it'd be perfect for this. So we'll put that right there. Let's see. Now you can kind of see my glue marks, but we're going to put designer series paper on the top. Oh, and I didn't tell you, this is two and a half inches by three and three fourths inches. Now we'll go ahead and grab our designer series paper, and I'm just going to put, um, cut up to the middle and make a banner. And then we're going to glue that as well onto the front. Talk about easy, huh? All right, for our sentiment, we're going to use the stamp, the stamp set Dear Doily, and we're gonna use right here just for you. Now this is part of a bundle, and it comes with a set of framelits called the Doily Builder, and I'll put that in um, the notes below so that you can, if you wanna get these, you'll save 10% if you purchase both together. And these are really pretty. You've got all the different, um, different designs here. It's really very pretty. In fact, I have a project with the foil sheets. I hope I can get that made before, before it goes out of stock. All right, so we're going to pull in the stamp set and we're going to use lovely lipstick. And these are our new cling stamps. And just, I've just started using them. And a little tip I can give you is when you're done with these, take them off. Don't leave them on your, on the block too long. I did, and I had a hard time getting it off. It'll come off very easily. You have to still be careful. See, you have to be careful. You don't rip it, but it's really nice because they stay on the block. That was a problem that they would not stay on the block, but they do. But just take them off as soon as you're done clean it, put it away. All right, so I'm going to use the 1 and 3 8 inch scallop circle punch. I'm going to cut this out. And then I'm going to use the leaf punch with some of our vellum cardstock and cut two of these out. And then 
we'll bring in some Stampin' Dimensionals and we'll use these to adhere them to the back. So let's see, we'll put one down there and I'll just put that there. And then this one we'll put. Such a decision, right? I think I'll add one more. Hopefully this has been, if I didn't, oh, looks like I didn't get that on super straight. Oh, well. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put our candy in. If I was doing this, uh, I would wait. I'd give it a little bit of time before you actually filled it. So these just fold in really easily. And we'll put our candy in. Let's see how many we can get in there. Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I think we get a couple more. Nine, ten. I think that's good. So then we'll just fold that in. Now we'll put our sentiment. Sometimes you, you, I put it in a different spot because you don't want to cover up some of this beautiful paper. All right, there we have it. A very quick and easy project using our craft pillow boxes. I hope you'll give it a try. Take care. Bye-bye.